well, I'm still alive. I just have to spout. I just have to say something. I'm waiting for people to ask me how am I and to ask me questions. And I feel like I need to tell my story and yet I don't say so much. Look, after just reading that post from an old school colleague of mine and realizing that things are opening up, that I can finally connect to people that were part of my life a lifetime ago. Gee, when I hear, yeah, Helen Karpik, who I've just read, actually died in, 19, in, in 2017. We shared a flat together and I felt so close to her. I can't even say that I've got friends from high school because I sort of felt a bit like an outsider. I was the one who didn't live in St Albans. I caught the bus and the train and I didn't have friends where I grew up either because all of my friends from there went to the other schools. And then when I joined the Unification Church and my closest friend didn't want to have anything more to do with me, yeah, it felt like it was fear on her part. And yet now when I look at my life, when I reflect back, something I was reading before, are you asking the right questions about your life? Gee, I'm so proud of myself. I had five sons. They all joined the Vienna Boys Choir. I was part of a mass wedding ceremony blessed by Reverend Sun Young Moon in Madison Square Garden in 1982. I joined the Unification Church in 1975. I moved to Austria in 1988. All of my five children were born here in Austria. I'm still living here in Austria. I got a job at the UN. I was working there for 10 years. They even re-employed me after I retired at 62 because they advertised my position, recognising they needed me as a data assistant in the Division of Nuclear Security. And I worked there until the compulsory retirement age of 65. So I'm talking to you guys who are my age, 66, who I went to high school with, and maybe even a few who I went to primary school with, though I have no connections to any of you. Yeah, the world is getting smaller now when I think 60 years have passed and here am I, the other end of the world, the part of the world that my parents came from to immigrate to Australia. Yeah, it's three, three minutes already. I'm going to stop here, but I just want to connect to my contacts of my past and maybe we can share a bit.